Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to look at the best Firefox alternatives. Now, a few days ago, Firefox pissed off the free, free and open source community by basically saying they wanted to control what truth was on the internet. Um, and during that time, I've been trying to find the what's next for me. I'm trying, I've been doing some research on what would be the best browser that I could use that isn't Firefox. I've desperately tried to find one that is not attached to Google in any way. I have not been successful. <laughs> there is just not a many good alternatives out there. Uh, you either choose Firefox or you choose something that is Chromium based. Those are pretty much your only options. Um, but I found a few. I found a few that are good enough options that you could use. I haven't made my choice yet, and I'm not going to actually sh show you the browsers that I've downloaded. Um, I'm going to do another video on that that when I when I actually make my choice. Uh, but I'm going to show you some of the alternatives today. So uh, we're going to start off with one that is, so this is Firefox that I'm using. Like I said, I haven't made the switch yet. Mainly, so first let me explain why I haven't switched yet. I like theming my browser in weird ways. So as you can see, I have the, the bookmark bar along the side, and I have the tab bar in one line along with the URL bar. I mean, it's really cool, right? You can't do that with many other browsers. Now, one that you can do is LibreWolf. Now I do have LibreWolf installed, so if I go here and do this, this is LibreWolf. It looks exactly the same. I have it kind of set up the way, kind of the way I have Firefox set up. There's some things you can't do. Apparently, you can't hide the the file menu, which is weird. I've also not been able to find a way to import bookmarks, so I'm not sure why you can't do that because there's no bookmarks. Like if you go to uh, you go to Firefox here, and you have this menu here, and you can go to your bookmarks, and then your bookmarks, uh, you, like, you, you know, view all bookmarks, right? You have a bookmarks manager. If you go to, to uh, this here, there's no button like that, first of all. You can go to bookmarks here. Wait a minute. Oh, never mind. See, look, I found it. So maybe, well, maybe the reason why I hadn't switched to Waterfox yet was that, or not Waterfox, but Libre... What the hell is it called? LibreWolf. Sorry, LibreWolf is because I couldn't transfer over my bookmarks. Now it wouldn't have been a big deal if I decided to reinstall Buku, um, but I'm glad I found this. So that's one option. Whether or not I'll be able to actually go through and get it themed the way I like it theme, I'm not sure yet. Um, that's just you know, we'll see. But it's a fork of Firefox. It's it's not attached to the Firefox thing. Uh, for, or Mozilla in any way. It's just a fork. Uh, it's very, very privacy focused. Whether or not you'll get find any errors on websites that it doesn't handle all that well, I'm not sure yet. I had, like I said, I ran into that roadblock with the the bookmarks thing, which apparently was really easy to solve, uh, um, and just you know didn't go any farther. But that's the only Firefox one that I've tried. Now there's another one called Waterfox. I've mentioned Waterfox accidentally here a few minutes ago. A few, you know, a few moments ago, I haven't been able to get it build to build on on Arch. Don't know why. It's in the AUR, but when you try to use Yay to install it, it fails. Uh, you can also build it from source. Haven't been able to successfully do that. It just fails out. Why that is, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's not still being developed. I don't know. I'm not able to show you. That's the reason why it's not on this list. But if maybe you can try it and and. Uh, you know, see if you can have more success than I did. Now I haven't tried to have it. I haven't tried to build it on this uh, install of Linux yet, so maybe I'll try it again. It did not build on Arco. Um, all right. So the next one that has become very popular is Brave. Now Brave is a Chromium-based browser, so keep that in mind. But it doesn't have any Google stuff in it at all, which is good. The only thing that it does from Google basically is that it's a Chromium-based browser. It uses Blink. As the web engine, which is, I believe, a fork of WebKit, but I'm not sure. Um, but still, it, it syncs, has sync thing, but it, it uses um, blockchain technology to sync stuff. I'm not sure yet if you can actually go through and sync tabs, because it does have a, a mobile browser, a mobile version. So if I'm gonna try it, if you can go through and sync tabs, because you didn't used to be able to sync the tabs. If you can do that now. I'm going to try it now. It does the weird thing where it tries to, sh if you watch, if you have advertisements on your page, it gives you like BAT, which is kind of a, like a cryptocurrency thing. 
I'm not into all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> you could give me some cryptocurrency. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Can I go to McDonald's with cryptocurrency? No. Um, and rant. <laughs> um, but Brave is not as customizable for me as Firefox is because you can't change the like the location of things that I really want. I may end up just having to leave that part of my interest behind. That'd be sad, but you know, whatever. So the next one is good old Chromium itself. Um, there's not a lot to say about this. Everybody knows Chromium. It's the free version of Google Chrome. And by free, I mean this is the open source version that Google Chrome is based on. Uh, if you're interested in the most compatibility on the web, Chromium is the one that you want to use. Pretty much everything you want to use, Netflix, YouTube, all that stuff will actually work in Chromium, where it might not work sometimes in Firefox or one of these other ones. Uh, same thing with like a lot of banking websites will only work in Chrome, which will, will work in Chromium. So it's very, very, very much tied to, to Google. So this is not going to be an option for me. If I'm going to use a Chromium-based browser, it's going to be Brave. Chromium's out there. If you want something that's really, really close to Google, but you want an open source version of it, Chromium is what you got. All right, the next one is Vivaldi. So um, this is what Vivaldi looks like. I don't have it installed. I've tried it many times before. For me, it's always been kind of slow. I haven't tried it since it had came out with the Android version of the uh, browser. So I'm going to give it another try. It is Chromium-based, uh, but uh, like kind of like Brave, it has its own login system. So you're giving your your login your information to a different company other than Google, which is good. Uh, it doesn't use blockchain like Brave because Brave doesn't actually have accounts, but uh, at least it's not as attached to Google as say something like Chromium. Uh, it does have different layouts and stuff, which I find intriguing. It's very colorful. The design is very innovative compared to the other ones that are on this list. Uh, my only problem with it is it's not open source. This is closed source. It's based on Chromium, which is open source, but the wrapper itself that wraps around Chromium, closed source. Um, that's not great. It's one of only two on this list that are closed source completely. Uh, the, the other one is Opera. So the Opera is the next one. Uh, as you can tell, Opera kind of looks like Firefox in, in many ways. It also looks kind of like Vivaldi in many ways. Uh, and you know, I'm not sure if Opera is closed source. And I, I don't want to I don't, I don't say this without knowing. So I'm not sure. Either way, it, I guess it doesn't really matter. Nobody uses Opera. <laughs> I mean, just nobody uses it. I mean, nobody's ever used Opera. It's like the, I mean... It's it's a choice. I'm not sure why you'd choose it. I'm not sure. I haven't used it in 10 years, but it's an option. All right. The last one is going to be a little bit different. So if you're a keyboard-driven person, if you're used to using Vim or Emacs or something like that, uh, Cute Browser may be your option. Uh, it's entirely keyboard-based. You use... So like I, I believe... If I go here, I can open up Cute Browser. Yeah, this is Cute Browser. Um, it's the first time I've ever opened it on this on this computer. That's why you're getting all this stuff here. Um, as you can tell, it's very, 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 very minimal. Uh, you wanted to open up something, you could you just press open. Com, and that takes us to YouTube. Very slow. Um, I mean, it's not it's not as slow as Surf. Surf is another minimal um, web browser. I have some issues with Qt that I don't think are that are that I think I think that are going to keep me from switching over to it. One, it's not great at ad blocking. I need an ad blocker. I understand that personally as a YouTuber, I'm trying to make money off from advertisements eventually. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a bloody hypocrite. I can't help it. Uh, I don't like ad, ads, especially on YouTube. YouTube ads are horrible. Um, you know, all right, you want rant time? Just one more rant. Uh, YouTube YouTube ads, show them to me at the beginning. Don't even let me skip skip them. I'm I'm fine. I'll watch them at the beginning if I have to. But if you interrupt the video I'm watching like twelve times to show me another advertisement, I'm leaving. Uh, that's horrible. I mean, that's just horrible user experience. I understand it happens on TV, but you want to, on TV, I'm not watching a 10 minute video or a five minute video. I'm watching a half an hour show or something, and maybe I'm DVRing it or something, and I can fast forward to the. I'm sorry. Not the top of the, of, of the video. 
I can't, I can't help it. Sometimes I just have to rant. It just, it, it comes out. It, it takes hold of me. I can't, I can't stop. Oh, sad face. Fuck you, YouTube. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. So, Cute Browser was the other option. I want to try Cute Browser, but uh, there's just the ad advertisement thing is just a thing. It 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 also is just not as fast as the other ones. So we'll see. So those are the, uh, the those are the main options that I've found and the ones that I'm considering the most. The only one on this list that I will not be choosing is Chrome. I've ruled that out because it's too close to Google. To Google, I can't even say Google. Google, what a stupid name. Um, chances are. I'm going to try LibreWolf for a little while, see if I can't get it to look like Firefox and act like Firefox, but chances are I'm going to use Brave. I think that's what a lot of people are settling on is Brave um, for multiple reasons. The the cool way they try to monetize the web is, I guess, interesting enough, um, but also because you know it's open source. It's based on Chromium, so your web, you're going to be able to go to web, whether websites you want to go to um, is probably the one that I'm going to choose. But like I said, I'm going to make a video separately when I do make my final choice explaining why. Because I am going to be moving off from Firefox because Firefox should stay the hell out of, my, out of politics. They should just completely leave politics behind and focus on being an open source company. That's just my opinion. So, uh, hey, look at that. I got the, uh, I got the key binding right. <laughs> oh, man. What a disorganized mess of, mess of a video. But you know what? What do you expect? That's the name of the game when it comes to this. And you know what? My phone has been listening to this the entire time because I said the word Google. Um, that's just, I mean, if there's any other reason why you should hate Google, it's because every time you say its name, there's something freaking... Li Look, I didn't say, okay, Google. Stop listening to me, Google. I didn't say that, eh, but it's still, it's still listening to me. Anyways, we're going to call this video the rant video because I ranted all the time. You can tell I haven't had much sleep lately. <laughs> if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm not going to hold it against you. I'd probably give it a thumbs down too. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can do so in any number of ways. You can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. You can follow us on Twitter. And on Facebook, at the LinuxCast, you can follow me personally on, on Twitter. I'm at MTWB. I know it's Twitter. I can't help it. I've been on Twitter since 2009. I'm not leaving it behind uh, for Mastodon. I mean, <laughs> I understand I want to be the open source guy, uh, but Mastodon is not good because there's nobody there. I mean, there's just, I mean, it's, why be on a social network if there's nobody else there? And I don't want to hear, like, oh, there's plenty of people. There's, there's like 600 people on Mastodon, I swear to God. Look, at, I'm, I'm ranting again. Anyways, the easiest way to to support the channel is to subscribe. I hope you do because it's really easy because I do videos five days, five, sometimes seven days a week um, on all sorts of topics. Usually the videos are more on track than this. Uh, <laughs> this one just went off the rails many times, mostly because I just spent a half an hour. No, you don't care. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. I'm going to go get some sleep.